Now I'm sorry if I hurt y'all PlayStation exclusive niggas' feelings, but this 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 so, somebody's gonna tell the truth up in this bitch. God of War Ragnarok is sucky. Now, for those of you who said God of War Ragnarok was going to be game of the year, you're stupid. I really wasn't going to make a review on God of War Ragnarok because last time I made a review on the Callisto Protocol, I had niggas DMing me on Instagram. Niggas was messaging me on TikTok. Niggas was messaging me on Twitter. Niggas was messaging me on my mailbox. Because I gave it a 6 out of 10. So I'm letting y'all know right now. Y'all PlayStation fanboys, y'all gonna want to click off of this video. Because y'all are some dick suckers. Now, God of War 2018 was great. I'm not gonna say it was great, it was good. Like if I had to give it a scale on a scale from one to 10, I would have probably gave it a 7.5 or an eight, but God of War 2018 was not better than Red Dead Redemption 2. Red Dead Redemption 2 should have got game of the year that year, but I'll, I'll let it slide, you know what I mean? But God of War Ragnarok is nowhere near as good as, as, as God of War 2018. Let's just get that off the bat. And for those of you who thought it was going to beat Elden Ring, this, like God of War Ragnarok doesn't even compete with Elden Ring. It don't even compete with a Plague Tale Requiem. Okay? Now, I wrote some notes down, too, because, man, I, I just want to make sure y'all kept asking me to give my review on God of War Ragnarok because I kept saying that Elden Ring deserved Game of the Year, and it did. Y'all kept telling me to make a review on God of War Ragnarok, and now I am. So I had to write down notes, okay? <sighs> now, first things first, I'm gonna get the good out the way. When it comes to these games, I try to get the good out the way, you know what I mean? And what did I say about my last game that I played, Callisto? The graphics is good, but the crazy thing is, the graphics seem like the same graphics on God of War 2018. So I'm not giving it a pass for that, you know what I mean? But, um. The other thing good is I don't know, man. I I just got to get to the negative. First of all, we're used to Kratos. The god slaying, you know what I mean? Got all the weapons Kratos killing. On this one, they made this nigga act like a bitch like a bitch okay he don't be killing nobody as ruthless as he used to do he used to pass the peas like he used to do now he's not doing none of that man but like i said this game the, my main thing about this game is this kind of the same thing as 2018 like they really didn't build on 18 except put in an extra weapon which is a spear a extra like side weapon which is that sword and then you can do a little bit more combos and stuff but other than that like it's the same thing as 2018 god of war and that's why i'm like man this game is not even it's y'all playstation niggas y'all y'all overhyped this game way too much and i wanted to give it a chance maybe i thought i was too harsh at first but then when i beat it i'm like man this game is this game this game suck this game is sucky how did y'all think this was gonna get game of the year? You know what I mean? Like, first of all, the way that the level design is, you're just gonna run straight through a path. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna turn right, turn left, fight a couple enemies, fight a couple enemies. Then you're gonna fight a boss. You know what I mean? But the boss is, you know what I mean? He's, 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 just, he's just easy. You know what I mean? He's the same boss you're gonna fight later on down the line, and then you're gonna fight that same boss later on down the line. And when you kill that boss, it gives you the same animation. 
and y'all had the nerve to tell me, oh, Elden Ring got the same animations. Oh, oh, Elden Ring got the same bosses. No, it don't. The main bosses do not be the same. And you actually have to strategically fight those enemies so you can get the victory. You know what I'm saying? Now, second of all, when you talk about game of the year, you want to talk about stories that you actually care about. I didn't care about nothing that was going on in this story. At the beginning, when Freya was about to kill you, that was actually interesting. That was cool. Freya was about to kill you at the beginning. She was going after you. That was cool. You know what I mean? But after that, she started to get on your side. Now y'all buddy, buddy. She's starting to give you some of that neck. You know what I mean? And then when it gets to the middle of the story, I'm like, man, like Atreus is leaving to go to Odin the bad guy then he comes back to his dad oh i'm sorry dad i had to do this i had to go to the enemy and help him do this shit and then i had to come back i'm sorry dad and then he's gonna go back to odin oh i'm back odin do your bad shit oh i'm back dad what kind of shit is that man come on and then kratos they made him act like a punk he should have he should have grabbed the trailers by his by his arms and said, look, you're not going back and forth to the bad guy and then coming back to me and then going back to the bad guy and then coming back to me saying it's my choice. You know, I don't understand the choice. Like, it just didn't make no sense. I didn't care about nothing what was going on. And I don't understand how Odin is the bad guy. And then Kratos, I don't know. The story was just trash. I'm just saying the story was trash. What else do I got on my notes? It's not even gruesome. Like I said, it's not even gruesome. Like, y'all remember God of War trilogy, the original trilogy. Like, he would kill, like, the way he beat up Zeus. Like, bro, come on. And then they made Kratos super soft. Like I said, he gets beat up by Thor at the beginning. And Thor actually kills you at the beginning. Spoiler alert, he kills you at the beginning. And then he brings you back to life because you a bitch. Now, I didn't want this to be a rant video because I don't care that much, but when niggas start to messaging me on Instagram and TikTok saying, oh, you thought game, you thought game of the year is Elden Ring? That game is boring. That game is boring. This game is fucking boring, bro. This game is boring. Like, I had to tell my cousin, with, who he plays a lot of games. He plays them JRPGs, the Nino Kuni, the Fire Emblem, you know what I mean? The, the shit like that. And he was trying to tell me, no, you just got to play to the end, play to the end. I was like, Trey, I know you, man. Don't try to hop on that bandwagon with these PS5 exclusive niggas that think their games are the best in the world because this God of War shit is sucky. And I'm just keeping it real. 2018 was decent, but this one is sucky, okay? What else do I got in my notes? You know what I mean? It's just so like, oh my goodness. Once I beat it, right? Once I beat the game, I deleted it because there's no reason to play it again. Like all y'all that love this game, like what, like y'all beat the game. Are y'all going to replay it and play it again just to sit through 80 hours of cutscenes and then fight for two hours? Y'all not going to play this game again. And I'm sorry for raising my voice. I'm just letting y'all know that I think this game is not a bad, bad game, but it's a sucky good game. Okay. On scale from one to 10, I gave Callisto Protocol a six out of 10. Now I ain't gonna lie. My six out of 10s, that's, that's, that's a decent game. This game averages like five. I get this game a five out of five out of 10. Five out of five. I'm not playing it ever again. It took me so long to even try to beat it. You know what I mean? They didn't even give you a lot of weapons. Like they could have at least gave you four or five more weapons. All you get is the the alleviation axe. You get a you get the spear and you get the uh the chaos the chaos uh blades the the chain the chain things. You know what I mean? Oh excuse me. You know what I mean? Like they could at least gave us some other shit. Like come on. Like y'all should have added more shit. I didn't have a problem with Atreus being in it. But all the side characters and stuff, I didn't give a fuck about none of them. I didn't care about none of them. 
None of them. The the one brother that I don't mean to have no spoilers, but the one smithing brother that dies. Who, who cares? <laughs> and then at the end, like they gotta they gotta jump the last nigga. They gotta jump the last boss. It's like t ten on one in the last boss. It's you, Kratos, Atreus, Freya, and then five other niggas trying to jump the last boss. Like, it's supposed to be a one-on-one -on -one between Kratos and the last boss. Like, come on, man. Now they got Kratos out here acting like a bitch. Okay? Now, I'm sorry if I hurt y'all PlayStation exclusive niggas' feelings, but this, 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 so, somebody's gonna tell the truth up in this bitch. God of War Ragnarok is sucky. And I'm sorry to tell you, but there was no way y'all thought this was going to beat Elden Ring for Game of the Year or even a Plague Tale Requiem because it's not even touching a Plague Tale Requiem. I'm sorry. But make sure y'all like and subscribe. And for all y'all PlayStation niggas, I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings, but, 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 but God of War is super sucky, okay?